In Kenya's vast Lake Nakuru National Park, the government uses helicopters to herd, track and tag a rhino population that's disappearing fast. In the last one year, I think we, ha we have lost close to 70 rhinos in this country, which is a significant population because that is about 10% of the population we have in this country, which is a population of about 640 animals. The poaching crisis is fueled by the thriving global market for illegal wildlife. Vietnam is ground zero for the trade of rhino tusks. A single horn can fetch $300,000 for its perceived medicinal powers, including the belief that it cures cancer. Well-organized, highly dangerous crime syndicates keep the Asian market supplied as smugglers turn to more sophisticated methods. Now the authorities are perfecting their response with an ambitious plan to relocate and tag rhinos with permanent microchips that may one day crush the illegal trade. We have actually provided 1,000 chips, which is more than the number of rhinos we have in this country. Uh, the plan is any ivory that intercepted will be able to be traced to the animal that it came from, which directly leads you to where it has come from. So we know that this problem is happening all over Africa. I mean, the range states in Africa, particularly South Africa, Kenya, Namibia, Zimbabwe. So we'll be able to depreciate the sources so that uh, we know where to concentrate uh, our efforts. Kenya's Wildlife Service now uses night vision goggles to catch poachers, among other sophisticated techniques. But it is counting on a bit of old-fashioned thinking to make sure this species survives. After the rhinos are tagged, they're ferried to safety in other parks across Kenya, where they are paired with the opposite sex to allow Mother Nature to work her magic. Zeb Eckert, Bloomberg.